I want to ask about this because uh, one of the things that happened this week, we all remember uh, famously uh, July 27, 2016, Donald Trump said, if uh, Russia, if you're out there listening, uh, I'd love to see Hillary Clinton's emails. Basically, invited them to hack her a server. And it came up this week that Robert Mueller basically said that day they tried. Yes. So you confronted him uh, at the rally that day about his comments. Yeah. What was it that he said to you? It was the, the by the way, it was the weirdest, one of the weirdest moments in what was a very weird <laughs> yeah, campaign. Very, be careful with that. I know, but, yeah. I know. There were a lot of, I'm, now I'm thinking back <laughs> yeah, and I'm, right. well, there were a lot. But this one was particularly weird. Particularly weird. We were in the middle of, of one of his golf courses. We're at a ballroom, this very gaudy ballroom with this patterned carpet. He has a, all right. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. It was, it was a little over, <laughs> over decorated. Fine. Um, it was also really freezing in there. It's like he was trying to freeze us or send us to Siberia. Maybe. <laughs> I gotcha. Um, and he comes out. It's the middle of the Democratic National Convention. Usually presidents or presidential candidates go dark when they're not having their convention, but he wants the attention. And there had been some rumors about hacking. The DNC had been hacked. Some emails came out. It was very embarrassing for the DNC. And there was talk about maybe it being Russia. Nothing had been confirmed yet. It was all kind of bubbling out there. Donald Trump comes out and starts talking about Russia all of a sudden and how everybody thinks that Russia is hacking. They're not hacking. And oh, by the way, I want to see those emails. And I, I remember sitting there and thinking, uh, wait, what? Did Donald Trump just ask a foreign government to hack into Hillary Clinton's emails? Did that just happen? That's even weird by Donald Trump standards. Sure. And, and I remember thinking, I got to ask this guy about it. And at this time, he kind of hates me, so he's not letting me ask questions. Um, and the next couple questions that, that came out were about something else, about the economy or, or something just totally not, not on the topic of Russia. And I remember thinking, well, maybe I'm the crazy person. Maybe that's a totally normal thing. That's yeah. just part of politics, and I'm naive. Um, but eventually, I, I decide that, no, it's a big question, and I ha got to get his attention. So I'm waving my arm frantically, and he's not calling on me. And so I go back to my tried and true strategy, which is to flatter him in order to get him to pay attention to me. And so I said, your poll numbers are really great. And he turns and looks at me, and he says, <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Katie, is that you? Are you wearing a disguise? Oh, no, that is you. And I said, yes, it, your poll numbers are great. Let me ask you about Russia. Does it not give you pause to ask a foreign government to hack into the election? And he doesn't even let me finish the, the sentence. No, it does not give me pause. What should give you pause is Hillary Clinton and her missing emails. And I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are asking a foreign government to meddle. And he's like, you're just trying to save her. And I said, no, no, you're asking a foreign government to meddle. And he keeps steamrolling over me. And he, at the end of it, says, no, I would really like to see those emails. So that was a huge day. This is an, an American presidential candidate asking for help from a foreign government, doing it very blatantly. It was very weird. But then the campaign continues on, and he says a whole bunch of other totally crazy things. Yeah. And the intelligence community... <laughs> yeah, we just have to, like, then we just throw stuff away. We don't have room. Everything gets, gets totally buried by the next controversy, which is what actually ended up really helping him, because you couldn't focus on just one thing. And a lot of folks ask, well, why didn't you press that harder? We had no indication whatsoever from anybody in the intelligence community. Peter Strzok wasn't texting any of us and saying, hey, I got this information on Donald Trump. We had no idea. The only in a hint we had to it was that, was that press release that came out on October 7th, which was also the day that Donald Trump, um, well, the tape came out where Donald Trump was bragging about grabbing women yeah. by certain no parts. No memory. No memory. So that, that yeah. got buried. <laughs> That got buried, and it was only a press release that said Russia wanted to meddle. It had nothing to do with, with Donald Trump's campaign. Fast forward to today, and oh my God, that date is so significant. We had it come out in the, in the indictment that, Russia, uh, that Mueller put out on Friday, saying July 27th, the day Donald Trump said, Russia, if you're listening, um, that is the day that the conspirators in the indictment, these 12 Russians, started for the first time, and it says it in the indictment, for the first time, tried to get into Hillary Clinton's emails and server.